Hey guys, Lucy here from Hunting for George. I've got a very inspiring home tour for you today. If you've been enjoying our lettuce in home tours, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. But today, I'm in North Melbourne. I'm on a very typical street. I'm about to take you through what looks like a very typical home, but it ain't on the inside. Welcome to the North Melbourne Terrace. to the North Melbourne Terrace. So this is a very typical street frontage and very typical of North Melbourne and Melbourne in general with all of our terrace homes. So we're in the original part of the building here with this beautiful long hallway, very high ceilings, lovely arch detail as well. We've got two bedrooms that lead off this hallway, but we're not here to see the original building. We wanna see the new stuff, okay? So further down this way is where the action starts to happen. You'll notice these steel beams, these exposed raw steel beams. These are basically the border. They're the perimeter of basically separating old and new. So we've got light and we've got dark. We get to see this sense of this beautiful dark graphite joinery. And if I just happen to push here, oh my goodness, check this out. Oh my word, this is so dark, moody and luxurious and not what you expect to find <laughs> from the house that you see on the street. It is, it's like a five star hotel room to be honest with you. There is so many beautiful materials in here. This concrete sloped sink is really quite special and very dramatic as well. I love that feature. Mirrored cabinets always look really nice when you're in a dark interior. And not only that, but the lighting helps to sort of really boost the ambience, not only above the mirrored cabinets, but also underneath here, which is bringing out a lot of that texture in that tile and also bringing out a lot of the warmth in the timber as well. There is a lot of storage. I love how dark it is, but it's not black. It's like a really nice graphite. There's laundry in there. So obviously it's a smaller site. They've tried to maximize as much space as they can. So really good storage in here, but obviously we saw the bar. I mean, seriously, I look, I, I know I've got shoes on, but I've got to get in this thing because seriously, I need to show you the scale of this thing. It is so big. Again, it's basically a massive version of the sink. We've got this sloped detail here, very heavy concrete. There's a lot of beautiful tapered angles in here as well. This, I mean, it's huge. I, this is like an onsen spa. I'm literally just sitting here chilling out. I could imagine, you know, having a nice afternoon in here with a big bubble bath. Very relaxing. All right, but Lucy, get out of the bath and continue with the home tour, you say. Yeah, 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 righto. Yeah. Shut this away. I know, right? Very exciting. I want to show you this to you as well. Very cheeky cavity door. I like the fact that you can actually shut that away. It recesses completely in, so you can basically separate your sleeping quarters to the rest of the living and dining, which is absolutely spectacular. This is so grand. This island bench, I don't even, I've never seen anything quite like it, I've got to say. It is so huge. It's got some really interesting tapered angles, which we started to notice in the bathroom, and it also reflects the site that we're on. Again, with the dark and the moody. So we've got this beautiful charcoal joinery and these amazing kind of um, textured 
concrete tile. Again, beautiful lighting. What is also awesome about this space is that everything's so clean and minimal, they've hidden the power points on the ceiling of this space. So you don't actually see them on the tile. And I think that is awesome. I love how minimal and clean that is. It is so seamless. But speaking of seamless, how good is that? I can't believe I'm so excited by that, but that is such a clever detail. I was thinking there's so much space here and the fact that they've hidden away this pantry area and it's got this pull out drawer, it makes it really accessible. That is very, very cool. I just really love the amount of hidden joinery and oh, oh, the biggest fridge in the world. Everything's just integrated but hidden beautifully well. This is a lovely spot to actually look at here, the steel staircase. They look fantastic. They're actually reflecting, there's a lot of panelling. There's panelling in the timber beams, in the louvers, and those stairs are actually reflecting what's happening in the rest of the space. You'll notice also we've got another one of these exposed steel beams and they're essentially holding up this sort of back half of the house and they create a really lovely feature as well. These stairs, oh my gosh. So this is Devil's Ivy, which they've wrapped around this steel mesh and that is literally coming from this small pot over here. That is going gangbusters. I do love Devil's Ivy. Very, very hard to kill, I must say. The furniture is very mid-century modern. There's a lot of dark timber pieces in here which works really nice with that kind of charcoal, moody colour palette we've got going on. But, I mean, seriously. Look at the height of this space. This is just absolutely out of this world and so not what you expect from the front. This is so high. This is so big. And not only that, all of the windows actually open up. So you can let in the most amazing amount of air and you can shut that away or you can open it all up. So perfect for every season. Not to mention, how good is that? So if you want movie night, you can. I love that. I think that is such a cool feature. And what I must say as well, this is this custom built day bed, which is going the full width of the back of this house. Very comfortable and just a really lovely space to sit. You're very connected still. I mean, it's open plan. I'm very connected to what's happening in the kitchen and in the dining area. But not only that, come here and have a look at what I am looking up at and I wanna go up there very, very soon because it looks very exciting. <laughs> Tell you what, the sun is about to come out, so I am gonna open up beautiful sliding doors to take a look outside. Come on. I love how much they have maximised this site and you'll notice that obviously they've raised this building. So this is a very sunken now carport, but not only that, it's also a lovely garden area as well. Very green, lots of rocked garden, and it has this beautiful staircase leading up to the nice deck area. It's time to go up.
up here with this window, there's a really clever uh, privacy screen, which is very smart because you can actually open up again this window and you can adjust that so you can change the orientation which would mean that it would change the way the light actually moves into this space ah linen closet they fit storage in this home and i do love that oh well okay Okay, welcome to the master suite. This is drop dead sexy and so big and grand. We've got this huge space here and you can see again the exposed steel beams, which again, basically are holding up this rear addition to this home. This is such a huge area. And what I'm looking down here onto the living space. So this is actually a study nook so they've created that home office so that is what you can see when you're sitting downstairs on that incredible day bed but if you want to create a bit more privacy you can pull those three panels across so now we've got a very intimate very moody bedroom area and if someone's watching telly downstairs they don't annoy you I really like that this home is very interactive like the joinery in this home really is quite special I've got to admit and but Lucy where is the ensuite oh, oh my god Oh, just, you know, your average master ensuite. This is so big. This is a massive space. We've got the same color palette that was downstairs. And also we've got that same sloped concrete sink, which is beautiful. But instead of the bath, we've got this amazing double shower. It's been a while guys since I've done my double shower high five. What do you reckon? High five you mate. Yeah. <laughs> this is seriously such a big space though. And you've also got that adjustable privacy screen here as well, which in this window opens up. <laughs> Toilet is hidden from that nib wall. And over here, this becomes the walk-in robe. So this is our dry area and then that's our wet area over there. Check out this view too. I love this, the way that that looks through that pivot door. I absolutely love that. It's so lovely to see this devil's ivy creeping up this staircase. I'm gonna grab a drink and let's take a closer look at this house, shall we? Okay, so this house is just a big old surprise with a capital B-O-S. Seriously, from the street, it is just such a small, normal, traditional terrace house. And as soon as you walk in here, you're faced with this insane amount of space and height and light. And it's like, what the, when did that happen? Like, it is so insane how different 
the rear is to the front of this building, but it's also such a seamless merge. I really like the way that they've clearly identified the old from the new, where they've used those steel beams and also changed the color palette as well and brought in a lot more dark and moody tones. And the color palette was very much specified from the owners. They actually wanted to make sure it was a much more moodier and ambient space rather than all light and bright. Although I say that, but the light in here is absolutely spectacular and there is so much light that is coming in from so many different points. There's so many different beautiful windows and light wells. Not only that, but pretty much every window in this home can be opened up. So you can actually bring in a lot of airflow and that was actually really important to the owners as well. They wanted to make sure that they maintain a nice connection with the outside and they wanted to make sure that a lot of breeze was able to come through this home. So like most terrace style homes, homes in Melbourne, they are quite small sites. This had some very similar challenges that most terrace renovations will face in the fact that you have just a small amount of access to your block. And the old structure, what was originally here, was just a bit pokey. It had had a few sort of random additions over time. It was very closed off. It didn't have a lot of light coming in. So that was an important focus for this project. This particular alteration and addition was done by Eldridge Anderson Architects, and it basically encompasses the rear half of this building, as you walk through the hallway, you're confronted by that beautiful, almost hidden bathroom with very moody details, very dark features, concrete, stunning tactile materials, beautifully lit up, a lot of ambient light in there, plus that insanely big concrete bath. Bath doesn't even do it justice. Some sort of onsen spa slash pool slash giant concrete tub, which you could pretty much spend all day enjoying. Not only that, but the bathroom actually has a lot of storage. There is a lot of practical storage, in fact, everywhere in this home. Because it is a smaller footprint, they have made sure to maximize space wherever they can. So there is that hidden laundry in that main bathroom area. But the real showstopper of this home is when you step down into the living, kitchen and dining, which I'm sitting in right now. And I must say, the light in this space is just sensational. It pivots and shifts and changes obviously with not only as the day changes, but just the fact that you can interact and move the space. You know, you can move the way the louvers sit on the window, so you can change the way the light hits. It is a very large north facing window, so it gets a lot of light. But I imagine it would be a really interesting home as the light would just change with every single season. The kitchen is fantastic. I love the kitchen. That island bench especially, it has these really beautiful tapered angles and the tapered angles are sort of featured throughout a lot of the different aspects of the home because it reflects the actual angled tapering of the site itself. So the architects have been quite clever in the way that they've brought that into some of their design elements. And I really like the way they've shaped that into the island bench. It was all custom built. It has a really good size. I mean, the scale is fantastic. There is plenty of space for preparing food, but not only that, but also for entertaining. The way that they've lit up their kitchen, it's the same with all the other spaces in the home. The lighting has been done incredibly well. So they've got that beautiful strip lighting that's bringing up a lot of that texture and depth to that splash bag. And everything in there is just so seamless. I mean, you saw the fact that I was pointing out those kind of hidden power points, you know, and the joinery is just so clean, minimal and seamless that you don't even notice when there's a hidden pantry on offer. That was so exciting to me. Probably maybe a bit sad that I'm so excited by things like that when I find like a hidden door in a hidden pantry, but seriously, that was cool. I love the fact that you could pull that out completely. Very functional, very clever to also just tuck it away. Everything is like you can either open it up or shut it away. It's never in between. And I like kind of that. It's a very minimalistic way of looking at things and I really like how kind of neat and tidy it is. It's very exploratory. There's so much interaction. There's so many things to move and open and pull. And that sense of discovery is just a lot of fun, to be honest with you. The view from the kitchen when you're in that space is incredible looking out over onto this living area. I really love the beautiful width of that day bed in the living space. Basically just looks straight back onto the kitchen, but it works really well. It's got its own cozy 
Zarin. And I love the way that the owners have brought in some beautiful mid-century modern pieces with that dark timber. It's very elegant, it's very sophisticated, but it does feel very cozy. And that dark timber tone works really nicely with a lot of those blacks, charcoals, that kind of darker, moodier color palette. The steel staircases, I like the way that they're open and I like the fact that you can look through them from both angles, from the side and also from underneath the stairs. And that's actually a really nice point in the kitchen where you can kind of look through that aspect out to the outside. It's always connected. And I really like how they've softened that dark heaviness of the steel with that devil's ivy, which is growing so beautifully well. It's just wrapped around that steel mesh. It's just doing its thing. And I love how organic that is and how that will continue to grow over time. When you go outside, it's when you get to see a sense for what they've actually done to this site. So they've raised the rear of the house quite a lot, which really does do a lot in terms of changing your perspective. And it also creates a really lovely kind of sunken area so that instead of sitting in your living area and maybe looking out onto your carport, that's now sunken and it's its own little zone. And whilst it's a small space, I think they've done a really great job to integrate both a car spot, garden and decking area as well. The upstairs area is reserved for that master suite, that very generous master bedroom and the home office, which actually opens up and looks down towards the lower level living area. I love that kind of idea of that extension to add that home office in, but they've also thought about bringing in beautiful joinery as well to be able to shut that away. And those three paneled sliding doors actually made quite a big difference as soon as they were shut. It created a lot more intimacy and just a nice sort of moody, a more inviting space for sleeping. It actually changed the sound as well and it really helped to stop the echo that you get in those large open plan spaces. And then the fun continued into the master ensuite with that beautiful pivot door. I loved the way that was so dramatic as you swing that open and then all of a sudden you're faced with this beautiful mirrored dark textures, very moody, very ambient, and it is reflective of what was going on in the lower bathroom. Same color palette, same mood, same concrete, but this time instead of that huge bath, you had a huge double shower. Very generous proportions in that master ensuite, and I love this. You know, this is a home for a young family, but I love the fact that they've created their own retreat. It's away from the rest of the house. It is their own space in which to enjoy, and I think that's incredibly special. The generous proportions of that ensuite allow there to be a really great separation between the wet and the dry areas. So as well as that ensuite, that also created a lot of storage, which acted as their walk-in robe. A few of the challenges that came about with this project, as it was an older style home, it wasn't in great condition. There were plenty of rooms with holes in them and bricks could literally just be pulled out of a wall. So they needed to be quite creative and inventive with how they actually changed and improved the structure. At the rear of the building, I pointed out in the walkthrough those really impressive exposed steel beams. So they actually hold up the rear of the building and they also help to serve as a really great design element throughout. I've got to say, I really enjoyed spending time in this North Melbourne Terrace. It is all tradition at the front, but party out the back. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tour of the North Melbourne Terrace. I would love to know what you think, so leave me a comment below and please make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video. We've got plenty more home tours coming your way. Cheers. Come.